Well, good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terra Quator. It's Monday. Monday, April 22nd, 2024, and it is day 113. Where's my munch? <laughs> Feeling good. It's Monday. Yeah, I, I went around. I decided to look around for some other avatars because, you know, that is kind of fun. Um, I found it kind of funny that even when you try to look up man, you get a whole bunch of, you still get a whole bunch of NSFW web and avatars. I, I did find it a little bit funny, but today, today's just a regular old Monday. Last night was really good though. We had a fantastic dinner. So I know, uh, Tessa yesterday mentioned that we did uh, grilled shrimp and grilled chicken and along with grilled corn. So we just grilled everything, really. But uh, we did, on the, the shrimp, I did a glaze of, uh, let's see, it was just raw honey, uh, lime pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, not much. So lime powder, or lime pepper, raw honey, garlic, and a splash of uh, apple cider vinegar to thin it out a little bit more. But that glaze on the shrimp apparently went over really well. I don't eat the shrimp. I leave it for Lillian. Because if she doesn't get her shrimp, you know how it goes. But I did that for Lily and the kids. They enjoyed that. The grilled corn, because we didn't put it, wrap it in tin foil like a lot of people do. I just put it straight on the grill. Because it is really, really good that way. That went over really well. They loved that. I'm the one who had the chicken. I made my own barbecue sauce, but I, I, I had some leftover um, uh, Hot Ones experience sauce. You know, the sauce that uses the new world's hottest pepper. And that was really, really good. It was so good. I, I, did, I used that along with uh, my regular blend of spices, a splash of apple cider vinegar, and molasses and I made a barbecue sauce out of that and it went over really well for once it's really hard to do on the grill for your chicken to come out either you know just right it's either always undercooked so you have to put it back on the grill and then usually most of the time it's just dry it's just dry and not good well turns out I did it it was cooked thoroughly and not dry at all that was, oh man, that chicken was really good. I still have some of that barbecue sauce left over too. It, it was, it was phenomenally good. I will say that it was really good. We're not doing anything special tonight because we've done plenty of that. We're just probably just going to do um, chicken nuggets and fries. Yeah. Cause I know sweet pea is going to want some chicken nuggets. If she hears me saying that through the door, she's going to go up to her mother, chicky nuggy, chicky nuggy over and over and over. I, I do admit, at the beginning of this month, I did try to get her a Happy Meal toy. I completely... Um, does this have an angry face? Or is it all just... Okay, uh, sure, let's use this one. I regretted getting her that Happy Meal because it was stupid... It, is there an angry face on this at all? Okay, thumbs up, apparently. Or kind of. Kind of. Kind of not. Hmm. There. It's really iffy, apparently. But it was it was just dance. Why? That was the dumbest Happy Meal toy I've seen in a long time for kids. And uh, that's saying a lot. Because there have been a lot of dumb ones, but that one took the cake. That was stupid. I am, like, I don't even know why I did that. I make, be I make better McDonald's-type food here at home. I make way better food at home. Well... The kids all agree anyway, so does Lilia. I make better food. I make better I make better special sauce. I make better Taco Bell meat. I make better pizzas. <laughs> Apparently I'm really good at making curry. I make better barbecue sauce. I, I just make better food here at home and I'm I'm constantly trying to teach myself some more things. And I I did watch a video recently about um um Tempering spices. I thought about doing tempering spices. I already bloom all my spices. Whenever I'm cooking, I always bloom my spices because I hate just throwing it in there at the end. It's 
It's gross. It's gross if you just throw your spices in at the end. Bloom your spices, people. Bloom your spices, which means before you even start cooking, get your spices in the pan too and make sure they're heating up at the same time with your food. Bloom your spices. Your food will appreciate it. Your tongue will appreciate it. Your nose will appreciate it. But I haven't really tempered my spices where you... um, really cook the spices up without burning, without burning in oil. I haven't tried doing that. And it's supposed to mellow them all out to make them blend a little better. I like my spices to stand out so you can taste different layers. But blooming them in the food helps it all mix in really well. So you get all the flavors in different, and sometimes in different layers too. But yeah, um, I, I should I should try tempering them sometime. Especially for the curry, it might help soften some of the spices up a bit too. But man, I I have in the past few days I've had some really really good foods here at home with just the mostly just the spices I have on hand because I I keep my pantry very full of spices. That's one of the very important things here in this household is make sure your spices are completely full. Always keep your spices stocked up. Just friendly advice. Anyway, I'm not going to really keep this one very long. This avatar definitely feels funky. I'll tell you, if you look at it, it's um, the, the hips feel extremely narrow. The, hip, the shoulders feel abnormally broad, like even for me. And the head feels, oof, the head feels tiny. I mean, look at this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this out super wide. Look at this. This is a very, um, it feels very, and it has tiny feet too. Like, Whoever built this is like, you know what? I'm going to make everything disproportionate. Even the knuckles are weird. <laughs> Look at the knuckles on this. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That even the knuckles are like fat, fat joints. Oh, they've done some weird things to this thing. Whoever, I'm, You know what? I'm going to look at who made this just because, but at least it's one of the almost semi-decent male avatars that isn't covered in tattoos. Like I said, that's a rare thing. That's rare. But who made this? Let's go to avatar details real quick. And avatar author was uh, Corn. Just Corn. <laughs> Their name is Corn. They have an avatar world, though, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add their avatar world to my favorites. I'm going to put it on uh, World's List 1 so I can check out Corn later. <laughs> Should be interesting enough. Uh, they might have some selections in there. We'll see. Anyway, I don't want to keep everyone for too long because I need to make food. I got to do a whole heap of cleaning. Oh, my goodness. I got a lot. I have a lot of cleaning to do. And uh, we're trying to prep Buttercup's room because the, she's supposed to be sharing her room with Sweet Pea. She's kept it so dirt. She's kept it in a way where we can't let Sweet Pea in there. So Sweet Pea just stays in our room all the time. It's getting annoying. I'd like my room back because we're the parents. We're the parents. The kids are supposed to share a room. So we're gonna make sure. We're gonna make sure that happens. Anyway, this is Terra Quator on your Monday. April 22nd, 2024, and day 113. Tessa and I will see you tomorrow, which uh, should be fun enough. In the meantime, y'all have a good one. I'm going to decide whether or not we're going to do some Genshin Impact streaming tonight. Definitely need to look at the possibility of doing that. I think Wednesday. I think Wednesday, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Because too much going on in my head, you know? Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow.